Hello everyone and welcome to another video. The year is 1963. A new science fiction programme has just started on BBC television. It is called Doctor Who. It stars William Hartnell as the titular Doctor, a role that is very different to the strict army sergeants and petty crooks he has long been typecast as, with Carolyn Ford Jacqueline Hill and William Russell in supporting roles, as Susan, Barbara and Ian, respectively. For its first few weeks, the show has had a mixed amount of success. Whilst its ratings of between 4 to 6 million are not terrible, they are considerably less than its production team had been hoping for. The very first episode had to even be repeated the following week after it had first aired the day after American President John F. Kennedy had been assassinated. The show's only hope is that its next serial will be more successful. That next serial is of course the very first to feature the Daleks, who are gone to capture the imaginations of millions of viewers, and result in the show becoming a massive rating success. But all of this very nearly didn't happen. Originally a very different serial was planned to be shown in the Daleks' place. This would have been another serial written by Anthony Coburn, who had already written the show's first serial, An Unearthly Child, and it would have been called The Masters of Luxa. This all raises a very interesting question. What if things had gone very differently? What if, in an alternate timeline, the show's early beginnings had gone down another path? What if The Masters of Luxa replaced the Daleks. Now I should start off by mentioning that this video was suggested by Griffin Law 9367 so thanks to them for the idea. Now I understand that not everyone will be familiar with the storyline for the Masters of Luxor, so I'll give you all a summary. The Doctor and Co lands on a seemingly dead planet. They've been drawn there by a mysterious signal. When they investigate, they get trapped in a vast crystalline structure and inadvertently wake up an army of robots. These robots have been waiting a long time for their masters to arrive. Mistaking the four time travellers for their masters, the robots tend to their every needs. The Doctor and Co try to correct the robots, but none of them believe them. The robots' leader, the perfect one, essentially believes in eugenics, that being the horrible belief in racial improvement. This is due to the influence of the Masters of Luxa. The Masters had created all the robots so that they could feel superior to them, but then the robots turned on them and the perfect one started to experiment on his humanoid creators to discover the secret of life. This is because none of the robots are truly alive. The robots have been killing the humanoids when they refuse to give up their lives for these experiments, and now the perfect one plans on using the TARDIS crew in these experiments too. It's rather interesting how similar some of the themes of the Masters of Luxa are to what the original Dalek story tried to cover. Both have a race of creatures believing themselves to be superior to all other life forms. This is how the Daleks felt about the Files, after all. But anyway, how would this alternate timeline come about? Well, it could go in two different ways. We could either have the Masters of Luxor completely replace the original Dalek story and make it so that the latter now never gets made. Or we could have a much less radical change and have both being made with the first Dalek story merely being produced later on in Season 1's production. Let's examine each of these potential scenarios in turn, starting off with the first one. If we went with the Daleks having never been made, then it would lead to some interesting discussions about whether the show would still go on for a long time or not. After all, it was the Daleks that captured the public's imagination and allows the show to become a massive rating success, leading it to continue in some form or another right up 
to the present day. But with there being no Daleks in this alternate scenario, perhaps the show wouldn't last that long. Perhaps it would just be an odd and obscure sci-fi show that lasted a few weeks on the air, before then being cancelled due to the BBC being disappointed at its lacklustre ratings. I found this image on Facebook a while ago which imagines that exact premise. Not only does it have a very different original TARDIS crew, with Hugh David as Doctor Who rather than William Hartnell for instance, but it also tells of a very different run of stories. It follows what I believe was the original plan for the first few stories. The first story would be The Giants by C.E. Webber. This would have been pretty much the original version of Planet of Giants. Then we would have had the original version of An Unearthly Child, called either 100,000 BC or The Tribe of Gum, I believe. Both of these stories would have been four-parters, as far as I know. Then The Masters of Luxa would have followed, being the final serial of this strange Doctor Who show to be made, and it would have been six episodes in length, even if the picture says that only 13 episodes of the show were made. Alternatively, we could still have an unearthly child start off the show, but then have the Masters of Luxa and a three episode version of The Edge of Destruction. Either way, the show gets cancelled after just a few weeks, and is then pretty much forgotten about by the few people who watched it and by those who produced it. This probably means that all of its episodes get junked by the BBC, and if there is no interest overseas, then there would be nothing left to watch in the present day. So yeah, a pretty depressing timeline, I know. How about the second option? That being one where both the Masters of Luxa and the original Dalek story get made. Well, it would certainly be a lot more recognisable to what we got in our timeline. And it is something that very nearly happened. You see, when the original Dalek story was first commissioned, it was planned to be the fourth serial of season one, so the place that Marco Polo ended up taking, essentially. If we move everything a bit to accommodate the Edge of Destruction, which is probably what they would have done, it would become the fifth serial, replacing the Keys of Marinus. But the Keys of Marinus might have still been made, perhaps in the place of the Sensorites. With the Dalek serial still being made, I can imagine that the titular villains would still capture the public's imagination, and result in the show becoming a massive success. It might have just taken a bit longer, and the show might have come very close to being cancelled by the BBC prior to this, due to the previous serials performing less successfully in the ratings. Of course, the rights issues around An Unearthly Child between Anthony Coburn's son Steph and the BBC would now have an even bigger impact in this alternate timeline. Now, both of the show's very first stories wouldn't be able to be included on BBC iPlayer, which means that the iPlayer collection would now have to start with The Edge of Destruction instead. The Masters of Luxa would still have been released onto DVD as part of the beginning box set nearly 20 years prior to this, however. Anyway, the course of this alternate timeline's season one would go like this. One, An Unearthly Child, which would still be a four-parter. Number two, The Masters of Luxa, which might have to have an extra seventh episode added so that the show's initial run would still be made up of 13 episodes. Number three, The Edge of Destruction, still a two-parter. Number four, Marco Polo. Number five, The Daleks, still seven episodes long. Number six, The Aztecs. Number seven, The Keys of Marinus. And number eight, the Reign of Terror. Perhaps these sense rights will become part of Season 2 to accommodate this change in Season 1's schedule. I think it's safe to say that regardless of which scenario you prefer, the addition of the Masters of Luxa would have some very interesting effects on the show's history. As ever, I've tried my best to get that across. 
I hope I succeeded, and I want to thank GriffinLaw9367 again for the idea. But anyway, there's my take on what if the Masters of Luxor replaced the Daleks. But what did you think? Do you agree with my take on it or not? And would you have done anything differently? And what other what ifs would you like to see me tackle? Please let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below as well as press the bell icon at the side of it so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. Also, please rate and comment below your thoughts on all of this. And please feel free to donate to my Ko-fi page, link in the description, or send me a YouTube super thanks below, if you want to, of course. And I shall see you all in another video. So, until next time, bye-bye!